Centre Court's hallowed turf has seen some of tennis's biggest battles, and since the rise of one particular homegrown player, it's even more of a battle for tickets. He likes it here, he's peaceful. He doesn't get bothered by our members when he comes here, so he can come practice. To see reigning champion Andy Murray will cost you nearly twice as much now. The Wimbledon debenture promises a reserved seat for every day of the tournament for a five-year period. From 2011 to 2015, it cost $47,000. Now it'll set you back 80000 the money is being used to help revamp the All England Club. $170 million for a new roof and other landscaping. Fans should be happy, and players have a reason to be happy too. This year, they'll be paid $45,000 for the privilege of losing in the very first round of Wimbledon, a 100% pay rise since 2011. It is a lot of money, I think is the first thing to say, but for the last three years we've, be, we've been trying to emphasise increases in our prize money targeted at those players who we believe need it most. To reach the top echelons in the sport is, is a very long road, it's a very difficult road and it's a very expensive road. The bills add up. When travel and coaching are taken into account, the annual cost of playing pro tennis is as much as $143,000 according to one study. So how does Wimbledon afford such generous fees for losers? Well, it's by putting broadcast rights before brash sponsorship, says the chairman. For sure we could make more money in the short term if we accepted some of those offers, but we would ruin the brand and ruin Wimbledon forever if we did so. So we're not planning to. Brand Wimbledon has much to thank for its past. Its success now relies on not upsetting the status quo. Caroline Hyde, Bloomberg.